I kind of became very interested in the whole Atlantic slave trade because all of us learn, for, learn about it from elementary school, but it's, um, some of it has bias, some of it is not go, doesn't go into depth. We generally are fairly ignorant of the slave trade. So we not only wanted to document the actual sites and document the route, but we also wanted to say, what is the, what is the education around it? What is the knowledge around, around that so that uh, ourselves and future generations know, know about the slave trade? Um, you only improve the future by knowing the past. One of the main goals is around helping, especially young learners, helping to enable understanding and empathy around our collective history, even when there are bad parts of our collective history that we need to recognize, and the ramifications of that history today. Most of the documentation is done with 3D laser scanners and other position-based imaging technologies, and so Trimble is um, especially adept at helping capture that type of data. One of the most important aspects to the overall uh, project on the Atlantic slave trade, I believe, is the curriculum piece. And without impacts um, partnering with us to help us uh, partner then again with BVSD educators, uh, I think it would have been really difficult for us on our own to find uh, the right educators who could write such fantastic curriculum. Okay, it's essential that uh, there's an aligned vision um, between a nonprofit and ourselves. What we are not is giving a handout. Okay? That, that's a, I'm not saying that, that that shouldn't happen in some cases, but that's not our model. And when Trimble came into our lives at Impact on Education, I was very honored that we were selected as a local nonprofit to be able to advance the work and the knowledge around a a very important topic in our country right now and around the world. There are many reasons why uh, using the SciArc and Trimble's maps and models and 3D reproductions of historic sites with, in regards to the Atlantic slave trade, uh, there are many reasons why this is important for our students. And one of the main reasons why this is important is because it brings history to life. It makes a living history that our students can actually go to these sites and toggle around and feel like they're walking through these monuments that many of them will never have the chance to go to. We are very grateful, Casey and Barry and Tom, for inviting us into the conversation a few years ago around how to provide a summer camp for students with autism. And it was really our privilege and our honor to be able to help fund a few selected aspects of that summer camp. So in the early 2000s, we started getting calls and emails from our customers who were mostly architects, and they were saying, you know, my kid hopped on my computer, started playing with SketchUp, made this really impressive model, um, had a really good time doing it, wants to do it over and over again, and um, that's fun for us, because my son or daughter happens to be on the autism spectrum, so when you find these connections, it's, it's important. We basically, we decided to start a program, we called it Project Spectrum, and um, the most basic part of it was that um, we would make the software, which was $500 at the time, freely available to, to the autism community. And uh, we'd have members of the autism community um, from Boulder County um, come into the office. And my mom happened to get an email from Autism Society of Boulder County asking if um, my sister and I would be interested in coming in. And it sounded interesting and we figured it'd be a cool way to spend the afternoon, maybe at least get a behind-the-scenes look at the software development process and figured what the heck why not spend an afternoon or two to go, going and doing this and uh, it turns out that um, it's been a little more than an afternoon now. We've been trying to figure out a way to bring on some of these kids that we originally worked with with Project Spectrum. Could they do a you know a job for us at, you know when we were at Google and, and we tried a bunch of different ideas we never did settle on one. When we came to Trimble, it was basically our Vice President, Bryn Fosberg, said, 
after after visiting uh, you know our summer camp just said we need to do this but we need to create a mechanism to hire those people on the spectrum because their unemployment or underemployment is 60 or 70 percent our go there's no reason that, sh that the unemployment rate shouldn't be the same as what it is in Boulder County same as what it is in Colorado same as what it is in national I've worked on a couple different things now um, right now we're trying to get the 3d printers repaired and uh, Pretty much everyone on the 3D Warehouse team that Barry runs, uh, they've been super nice, super supportive. They've just been very friendly overall. Um, they treat me like a, it might sound weird, but they treat me like an equal, not as that guy with autism who's here because he has autism. They treat me like I belong here, and that's a big thing. That's, I cannot overstate that enough. Too often, because of their differences, people with autism, society overlooks those strengths, and so they don't get the same opportunities as the rest of us do. Um, but Bryn and Trimble and Impact does a really good job at looking at the individuals, getting past the differences, getting to know them, understanding the strengths and thinking, gosh, how, how can Trimble benefit from that? Um, and, and that's the cool thing. Um, Trimble benefits from it. What Trimble has done is, you know, really exceptional. Among the world of ex companies that most people would view as exceptional, um, you know, I think Trimble has really stepped out on this front and, you know, it's just been, I'm just floored by it. Part of what we know about public education and about uh, children and their learning is that uh, we need partners in this. What we know is that some of the technologies in the marketplace today, some of the cutting edge work uh, we're finding for some of our hardest to reach children um, is having a powerful impact on them. So we're very appreciative of Trimble as a company and the work that they do. I was one of the very few Africans who uh, Trimble employed. The team spirit that they've instilled uh, you know, the spirit for success um, that is underpinned uh, by relentless innovation uh, is something that makes joining the Trimble team uh, something that everybody uh, should aspire to. It's all about people and people matter, and that's Trimble. From everything I've seen, it's not about making the dollar first or, or protecting the view of Tremble, but it's making sure that they're developing that product that will actually help their clients and people. Yeah, I think the, you know, for me, what Tremble is, is a family. 